Apollo 69. Oh man, do I have a video for you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another video guys. I uh, hope you're all having a great day. I know I just my day just got 10 times better. Um, if you all don't remember, I ordered a Brent Speed tuner in Friday's video. Uh, I announced that uh, I was tuning the sport track. I showed you how I'm prepping to do it. But those tunes which I was making that video to prep for are here. They're still being worked on. But the tuner itself just arrived, the SCT X4. We're gonna goof around the preset tunes since it's not gonna cause any harm to my truck to run them because it's not gonna do anything to make the engine spin faster. As soon as I can just uh, fish it out of the box here so y'all don't see my address. But uh, anyway, here we go. This is it. The SCT X4, uh, there's a little note here from Brent Speed and uh, all that jazz. They've got their business cards and stuff in here, which is always cool. Um, and this little pan flip it looks like of some sort. Uh, let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, dream cars aren't always exotic. High performance custom build, professional installation. Um, and then we got dyno calibration and custom engines. These are all kind of just things. If you live in Indiana, you should totally go check them out. Special thanks to them for getting this to me in a pretty timely manner, uh, if I say so myself. So we're going to go ahead and unbox the SCT right here, right now. Uh, I'm just going to break the tape here on the side. Oh no, I, I didn't want to break the box. I hate breaking boxes when I order stuff. It's like the worst feeling in the world to me. Uh, I'm gonna tape this on this uh, paper towel right here on the table. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna place the camera down for now. Okay, so now we have the second box inside the box. and. Uh, uh, where does this open at? <laughs> okay, so we've got a... Oh, it's a side seal. Okay, there we go. So, you open this up, you get more paperwork from a, a warranty card, a license, agreement, a license agreement, a manual, this looks like, pre-installed checklist, business hours and access, allow time for initial setup. Yeah, I can do that. I have an hour to spare. Uh, it's just now getting to one o'clock. We have a bunch of foam padding inside the box, and then we have the tuner itself. This is exciting right here. This is the Brent Speed SCT. It looks like a normal SCT. Buttons feel very high quality. It's my first time actually holding one. Michael didn't let me hold it. As weird as that sounds. Okay, then we have the accessories here for it. We have the cables for the tuner. Um, right here. Go ahead and open those up. We have this USB cable, which I would assume is for computer stuff um, to kind of help me out with getting this hooked up on a computer. Uh, we're also going to have the cable for the vehicle itself, uh, the OBD2 port cable. And uh, that's basically all that's in the box. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the sport track, get everything set up on it, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, everyone, so we updated the tuner, so now we're ready to go. I'm gonna take this film off when we get inside the truck. But everything is now up to date on the tuner itself. So let's go ahead, grab our OBD2 cable, and go hop in to the, um, the Sport Track and get this thing set up. Okay, everyone, now we're inside my 2003 Sport Track XLS. If you're new to the channel, this is the vehicle we'll be tuning today. And uh, of course, we're gonna go ahead and get start. Of course, no, it's not legal in California. Okay, so now we need to turn the vehicle's ignition to on um, and do not start the vehicle and press continue ready. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and we can continue on with that. Okay, so the ignition's on. As you can see, all the electronics are running. Some data. Okay, this is a 4.0 Explorer. It's going to process some more data, it seems. Okay, so the fuel octane, we're currently running 87. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave the rear O2s on, EGR on, normal, do all this stuff. Um, wide open throttle air fuel ratio, gonna leave that alone. Uh, this is going to be changed. Um, we're gonna have to change this up. I don't know exactly. Uh, let's see, where does this go up to? Only goes up to 900. Um, I'm just gonna leave it stock value because uh, even though my wheels are different, we're gonna go ahead and remove the speed limiter. Uh, the rev limit and drive is 7,000, really? Never would have guessed. But a neutral 
and uh, idle speed. We're gonna go rev limiter and neutral. We're gonna raise that to around 5,000. No, oh, we can only go up to 4,100. Okay, that'll be fine. 4,100 is good. Uh, that's a neutral, so I need to find park as well. Uh, we can do wide open throttle, shift pressure, one to two. We're gonna up it to about 5% each. It's uh, kind of hot here, so I hope I'm not breathing too loudly. And we'll do the same again here for the second to third, and from fourth to fifth, go ahead and add 5% as well. So, there we go, approve, and yes. Turn the vehicle's key to off. Now turn it on, and now it's gonna save the stock data, and uh, we're gonna have our preloaded tune on. Catch up to you guys when that's done. All right, guys. So just went out for the first test drive with the tunes, uh, the preset tune at least. Uh, I don't even know if you could call it a preset because literally I just went in and changed a couple things. Um, but it rode fine. Uh, everything seemed to be okay, minus the rattle. Of course, that is from either something in the engine timing chain, more than likely, as I've said in previous videos. Um, actually what's funny is I didn't hear it this morning when I was driving it around this morning going to get breakfast and go, um, go get gas, all that stuff, but all of a sudden it's back again, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, it seems to be indecisive on when it wants to make noise. But, um, I didn't go wide open or anything because, of course, I'm trying to baby it right now. I did test the, uh, raised rev limiter. Uh, I didn't remove it. I, uh, know a lot of people are going to be like, 6K for the win! But I would rather not, you know, completely remove it and uh, you know risk damaging the engine what I did is I just left everything alone and their stock values except for the rev limiter and neutral and park which I raised to 4100 rpm instead of 3000 because I still think that's that 3000 is a little dumb but the 4000 it gets up there in the rev range you can really start hearing the uh, the noise coming out of that flow master so uh, <laughs> with that said thank you guys again for watching this video um, I can't film drive-bys with it right now or I can't film driving clips with it because it's using the, the same suction cup mount my phone does. So that's kind of one thing is uh, you need a suction cup mount to hang it up somewhere. I mean, uh, Michael and them are coming over tonight, so we may be able to hook up the wire in a way where it's not in, like, <laughs> over my feet per se, so I can still drive properly. But anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching. The full tune video will be coming hopefully very soon. I got to get my brand speed tunes and get my engine sorted, whether it be the timing chains or what have you. Uh, I'm saving money off of uh, the return I got to uh, hopefully be able to figure out what the problem is and replace it. Thank you guys again. See you guys next time.